Hey people, what's going on? You're going to be watching a one vs one game on one of the new maps that came with patch 9, Incineration Zone. Right now we're going to have, in the southern end, my new 2 vs 2 partner, Rasis, going up against myself. Known on YouTube as Godma, in StarCraft 2 I use the handle Wrapped. So this was a fairly short game. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the video I posted before this, uh, or following this, I don't know in what order I'm going to do it, but uh, yeah, racist. He he's more experienced with with StarCraft One than he is with StarCraft Two, and he shows a little bit of an, ex an experience here. But uh, I did think that it was worth recording and casting for reasons that I'm sure will be revealed soon. But that being said, these two scouts are going to cross each other, uh, just kind of brush shoulders there, as the drone comes in, sees this first supply depot. And, um, yeah, he's gonna, going to be receiving information right there. But my first overlord is on the way, trying to get that high ground scouting. Just putting a little bit of harassment up on this SUV. Yeah, Race is perhaps using a little too much SUV micro to take down this drone. He probably needs to uh, focus on his income. But his first barracks is going up now, not uh, raising that supply depot. Not that it would matter though, because the drone can still get in through there. So getting my spawning pool at the conventional 14 supply. This racist scouting SUV is going to see my hatchery. I think they really did a good job with this new textures and new uh, the new doodads and whatnot. It's it is a pretty visually pleasing map, especially considering that all the maps that have been released into the beta at this point there's there's no real fire or lava themed one. So Incineration Zone is unique in that regard. So a uh, little bit of a spoiler alert right here, but. One thing Racist knows about me is he knows that I have less experience with the original StarCraft, and uh, bearing in mind that he does not know uh, much about the higher tech content in StarCraft 2, he's probably just going to try to cheese me or harass me early to, uh, to take advantage of that fact. But yeah, once again, arguably showing his inexperience here, just making that incredibly early, early engineering bay, there's really no build order that uh, involves such an early engineering bay. But on the northern end, I have my first hatchery made. Uh, I'm opting to go for a very economically heavy build, but we have actually a proximity barracks coming from that scouting SCV going up in my base, so that is going to be threatening my mineral line from this location of my base that I have not scouted successfully. In the meantime, we have this one SCV and a couple marines going. It's my uh, area of the map, probably planning some sort of bunker rush. Um, I do catch this patrol with my drone. That's going to go down to those two marines, though. My overlord is hanging around in racist space. There are a couple idle SCVs here by that missile turret. <clears throat> so uh, if I had played this game more professionally, more efficiently, I would have recognized that his front door was pretty soft for uh, a great a great deal of this game, and I should have pressured that with some zerglings, maybe even some roaches. But that's not how the cookie crumbled. How it's happening is there's a proximity barracks in my base, not quite producing marines yet, but there they go, queuing up three marines. I, I'm not aware that that's there. Just switching to production now. I have my second extractor. Extractor, excuse me, going up. The turret player is making that making that one SCV and that one marine as I spawn the larva. I'm also trying to get my evolution chamber down, and Lair Tech is now uh, in the making. I do have a slight advantage in APM, although at this stage in the game, it's not that significant. Maybe it's just interesting to know the difference though. Actions per minute, it's open to much debate uh, you know, as to how important it is to have high APM. I mean, uh, there is the argument that says it's not how fast you can issue actions, it's when and in what manner you can issue actions at what time, right? So it's, it's uh, certainly up to speculation and up to preference. On the other hand, though, high APM means that you have, uh, you know, your connection to the game is just faster. You're, uh, the interaction for your base and your team is going to be faster, giving you the upper hand, but yep, 
that's uh, just a taste of the discussion on that topic. Very boldly going for a third hatchery here. I don't think that was the right decision at all. We're going to lose this Overlord to this uh, initial Marine attack. I'm trying to bring out this Queen here, seeing that no, she's not in a good position pulling that back. Uh, also, at the same time, we have this Bunker Rush going up on the Mineral Line, taking out a bunch of these drones. It doesn't look good for me. I was not able to react uh, good at all, but here come these drones trying to pincer these Marines, using that Queen to get in a few hits on that Marine. It's not going to be good enough. This combined Panzer Marine attack is going to take down my main base. I call it, or actually no, racist calls Creek Team for me. Treating his Marines into that bunker there. He actually does well to keep, uh, yeah, now he's going to fill up that bunker, but wisely using this bunker to uh, to survive through this circling threat that I have. I'm trying to take down that evolution chamber, interrupting that SCV, or trying to at least bunker, focusing fire very nicely. It's going to make it missile tearing my base for whatever reason, probably going to just to try to catch air and overlords. But yes, uh, although Wraith may be new to StarCraft 2 scene, he still proves that the good old Bunker Rush is effective against Zerg, and I was not able to react accordingly to it, so it looks like he's going to take this friendly matchup as we practice to do our real 2 vs 2 ladder games together. But yeah, I'm going to, going to be throwing my drones and Zerglings away at this point. Realizing that I have no choice but to call a good game. You can see now that my mineral count is at 5, and my I just have no workers left simply, so... This bunker being repaired with a single SCV, he probably is going to take this game. And I expect a good game at any time. Probably the only reason, or the only thing keeping me in this game... There, I should be leaving at this point because I don't have any income. I don't think I actually have one drone in play yet, yeah, but... Uh, perhaps in the back of my mind I know that I have these two hatcheries. Either way, it doesn't look good. Losing additional circling, even maliciously flying this overlord into that missile turret. It's going to survive with 9 HP, though. And, uh, yeah. It seems that racist is putting up that factory, trying to pump more marines, and there I call it a good game. Thanks for watching, people. Let's, uh, hopefully the games that I post with this new player racist will be more interesting as our collective skill level improves. Take care, and once again, thanks for watching.